Hey everyone, it's Matt here with Flytrap Store, and um, I thought I'd do a video on uh, Venus flytrap flowers, uh, both their anatomy and morphology um, with the different cultivars. As you can see, we're uh, entering peak flowering season here, uh, just about probably two or three days away from most of these flytraps being its prime flower. Um, each cultivar kind of has its own schedule, but most tend to peak around the same time. As you can see, a lot of these flowers are... Um, about about prime right now um, with about half of the flowers open on every um, the top of every flower stalk but some haven't opened up at all yet and others like coquillage here in the foreground are done and they're about to set seed uh, coquillage is probably if not the first it's one of the first to come out in the spring with flowers cayenne is another early bloomer and some of the red varieties like purple haze here uh, hasn't even, or actually it just opened its first flower today. So, yeah, it's um, kind of hit or miss with, depending on what cultivar it is, and also the size of the pot does have some control over, um, you know, soil temperature and when they'll actually flower. But um, as you can see, the majority of flytraps tend to flower around the same time. Uh, but I noticed a couple interesting flowers this year. I have never let some of these plants go to seed. Um, one of them being GJ Giant Kudo, and I think this might be the most unique flower I've ever seen on a flytrap. Just uh, the petals are almost fused entirely, so they're um, very tight and small, and the flower stalks are actually quite short also. It's a very cool looking little flower. Um, thought I'd share that with you guys. Let's see. Uh, Incredible Red Hulk. First time I've let it go to seed too, I think. But you can see a lot of these red fly traps, um, the stigma, which is the end of the pistil, the little fuzzy part there in the middle, is red. Let's see if I can get it to focus on that. There it is, a little red uh, stigma. That's receptive right now, fuzzy. A non-receptive stigma, let's see if I can find one. Typically right after flowers open, the stigma won't be receptive. So. This guy here, if I can hold it steady, some of these are not receptive. You can see the uh, the male parts, the anther and the pollen on these flowers is ready to be harvested. And actually I've seen several pollinators in here today, including a um, hummingbird flying around pollinating, but, uh, and a lot of bumblebees, but yeah. Let's see, where was the, here's a nice example of one I need to pollinate today. The stigma there is quite fuzzy and doesn't look like it has any pollen on it. So I'll get that after this video is over. There was, oh, here it is. This is Clayton's Volcanic Red. And it is unique in the fact that it produces a lot of extra petals on the flower. Very densely uh, packed petals on those flowers there, which is kind of interesting to see. And also the red stigma, which is common with a lot of the flytrap varieties, the red flytrap varieties. Um, let's see, just go through these real quick. This is a maroon monster. Very good flowers. Uh, heavily pollinated. I mean, meaning the, the stamen have a lot of uh, pollen on the ends of them. Um, Kronos. This one produces a ton of flowers, but it doesn't seem to want to pollinate very readily. So I usually don't get a whole lot of seed from it, though I do get some. Uh, low Giant, a really, really good seeder. This flower is Low Giant here. And this is Whip Slim on the corner. Quite tall flowers, kind of like the, and there's another pot of Whip Slims. Some of the tallest flower stalks you'll see. Whip long, I think, makes long flower stalks. And here's a little pollinator getting busy in here. So yeah, those guys are doing my job for me today. I'll need to get busy after they do, though. Make sure I get pollen on the ones I want. But uh, it's kind of cool to see nature in action. I'm not sure what kind of bee that is, but it's uh, he's doing a good job smearing that pollen around on his body. And when he goes to the next flower, he'll probably pollinate it. I just saw some pollen fall off of him, actually. But uh, pretty cool. 
Let's see. Oh, Royal Red over here. Very similar to all the other red flowers. A lot of the flowers more or less are the same, but uh, that one has kind of pointed petals. And some of these others, this is, I think this is fine tooth times red. No, this is big mouth. The flowers are more rounded on the petal ends. Uh, Crimson Sawtooth kind of has a little nick out of the end of the out of the end of the petals. So, yeah, interesting characteristics. And uh, let's see, Scarletine. So Scarletine actually has some red sepals or red um, stigmas too. So very cool. Um, there's Lunatic Fringe, which for the size of the plant it is, it has quite small flowers. Very interesting. Anyway, just a few flowers. Um, oh, one more. I let Ramis go to seed this year. And this guy, for some reason, let me get around to the other side. The flower stalk likes to lay over. And I've never seen this on any Venus flytrap before. They almost always stand straight up. And no, it's not wilted. It just, for some reason, hooks over like that. And, um, I mean, the flowers look more or less typical, but I don't know why that flower likes to lean so much, but that's Ramis, and uh, hopefully I get some good seed out of this guy this year. Um, so yeah, just a few flowers to show you guys. Um, should be a really good seed mix this year. I've been doing a lot of pollinating. Uh, gonna have a lot of good red uh, clones in there. Carnivore All Red Giant is gonna produce quite a bit of seed, it would look like. Uh, Incredible Red Hulk, I'm gonna get let it go to seed. Uh, lots of Maroon Monster and a lot of Purple Ambush. Um, a few more down here, Fuse Tooth and DCXL and Maroon Monster down there, and a lot of those up this way too. Here's DCXL's flower, I didn't show that one earlier. But nice big flowers, big plants. Traps are looking really nice, the spring traps on these guys. So yeah, anyway. Happy spring, everybody, and get busy pollinating. Talk to you guys later.